Okay, I think this is in focus. <sighs> Hello YouTube, it's literally been years since I've made a video like this. Um, and when I say years, I was actually looking back at when I last made like a talking video and it's literally been like eight years, which is so weird. Anyway, hi, this is me, I'm back. <laughs> so much has changed. And, but at the same time, like I, I really feel like I'm still my same, like, 14-year-old self, weirdly, in a good way. I don't really know where to begin, besides, I guess, saying, I really just want to start making YouTube videos again. I really, really miss this. I really miss just, like, talking to a camera and expressing my thoughts and, like, talking about things and filming parts of my life. So, yeah, as I was thinking about the year 2022, I was like, you know what, I'm going to get back on YouTube again because I really, really enjoyed it when I was younger and I feel like I kind of let life get in the way and get busy. And I don't know, I've always been documenting my life, just like not the longer format version I would say like YouTube kind of allows, but you know, always taking videos. I feel like everyone does nowadays, especially for like Instagram and TikTok and whatever. But I don't know, as I was thinking about it, I was like, I feel like I'm not really a TikTok kind of gal. I feel like I'm just not funny enough for TikTok, honestly. But YouTube was like really my thing back in the day. So I was like, why not? Why not jump back into it? Okay, oh. You know when you see a friend that you haven't spoken to in like 10 years and you're like trying to like catch them up on your life and then trying to hear about their life? I feel like this is one of those situations where like I'm trying to think of the most important things to tell you from my life. I guess let's start with some basics. I graduated uni like a year ago. I got married. My husband, he's very sweet and I'm sure he'll be in a bunch if not all of my videos. I live in America. Actually, I'm gonna bring him up here because I feel like you have to meet him. Izzy! Yeah. Can you come up here, please? I don't, I don't really tell him like what he would say or anything, but I was just like, I feel like I need to introduce you to my YouTube channel because you are like half of my life, basically. <laughs> okay, he's working right now, but he said he'll be up here in a bit. But yeah, graduated uni. Um, I feel like I've traveled a bunch. Um, which has been really fun, especially with Izzy, I really, that's like my favourite thing ever is travelling with him. I'm still doing filmmaking, which is my favourite thing. Honestly, I feel like YouTube is what I have to thank because when I started making videos when I was like 12, 12, 13, um, I feel like that's what really made me enjoy just making videos and it's crazy because like that's what I do for my job now. My husband and I have a little film production company together and we make videos mostly for other brands. Sometimes we'll do like destination weddings and yeah, I just absolutely love making videos. I'm just one of those people that I've always known that that's what I wanted to do. So yeah, I'm just really happy that that worked out. And yeah, we just, we just continue building our film business and it's just been really fun to grow and learn and do all that. Oh, we built a house. We this is, this is the house that we live in and we love it. We actually moved here a few months ago and yeah, I'm thinking of maybe doing a house tour because decorating it has been so much fun. Like it's, it brings me so much fulfillment to see like my vision come to life. It's kind of like with film, I feel like when you, when you have an idea of like what you want something to look like and it comes to life, to me that is just the most fulfilling thing and that's kind of how it was with our house. Like I had these ideas and just like vision and, it's just been so fun to decorate. When I went to university, I actually studied documentary film and I really, really enjoyed it. And obviously I was like mostly filming other people. I don't know, I'm like, if I went to university and studied documentary, why the heck am I not documenting my own life? Like, I feel like that's really good to do because I never regret taking videos of the things I'm doing or whatever. And I just think it'd be really fun and like, years to come when me and Izzy can sit back and like watch all of our adventures or like our, Children can like see all the things we got up to when we were younger. Here's the man himself. <laughs> this Sorry, is... it took so long. That's okay. This is my husband, Izzy. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Isn't he so sweet? Um, some facts about Izzy. Actually, do you want to say some facts about yourself? Sure. I should but be prepared the, for but this. Just a ca casual introduction. You're not. You're not. It's not a job interview. It's just. Unlike Sophia, I grew up here in America. I grew up in a small farm town. And he's a farm boy, but you wouldn't think that. Yeah, I'm a farm farm boy at heart. I love living in the city, but also a ton of respect the for the farm. <laughs> the, the small <laughs> city that we live in. I have a big family. I'm really close to my siblings, and like to spend time outside. 
and love being married to Sophia because she keeps me on my toes. Wait, so you grew up on the farm, so like, what does that entail? Growing up, it was like <laughs> every single morning, wake up early, you have animals to tend to. Looking back, I realized my parents did it just to teach us how to work and to be responsible. We would get day-old calves and we had to feed them twice a day, same time every day, so it was like 6, 6 a.m. and 4 p.m. That was really fun. We did a bunch of crazy stuff, got in trouble a lot, just because we were always playing with the toys. We like rode a lot of motorcycles, four-wheelers, went camping, shotguns, basically the young American childhood dream. Yeah, I think, not in this video, but we're going to do like a How We Met story because... It's the most just, exciting story most exciting ever. most exciting story you'll ever hear. It's just crazy what happens. Just kidding, it's actually like quite... You'll have to see. Yeah, it's a good story though, I think, still, regardless. It <laughs> touches on the power of modern dating, I would say. Something you should also know about Izzy. So his name is Israel. What would you like them to call you? Now's you guys, the time to decide. Whatever you decide now... This is it. This is it. So from now on, <laughs> all of you that know me, call me Izzy. Izzy, okay. I'll just go by Izzy. So anyway, Izzy's basically the best part about me and I really, no. I really, really adore him. I guess, what do you guys want to see from us? Like, I have a bunch of ideas. I feel like, hey, this whole time that I haven't been making YouTube videos consistently, I always just, I still think about it for some reason because, I don't know, something will happen in our lives or a funny story will happen or we'll have a really cool experience and I'll be like, oh, that would have been a cool YouTube video. So... <laughs> I never wake up before the alarm. <laughs> never. Like when the alarm goes off. Not even after the alarm. But usually Izzy gets the first like three alarms and then I wake up. <laughs> I'm just a heavy sleeper. But it was so weird because one day I woke up before the alarm. It was it was at like 5.50 a.m. And I just woke up and all of a sudden I just had this really strong thought of like, I need to make YouTube videos again. And I don't know why. I have no clue why. Felt that way, or I, I wasn't really thinking about it, but yeah, I just had that thought, and I was like, I couldn't fall back asleep, which is very unusual for me as well. I was just awake and I was just thinking about it, and I was like, I really just want to start making YouTube videos again because I feel like when I was doing it when I was younger, I was so happy, and I don't know, it's just really fun for me. So, this is me following through with that commitment and that feeling. And the other thing that made me want to start again was also because I am. Um, we heard this quote and this guy said, the best day to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best day is today, right? Yeah. Judge Butcher. Yeah. No, yeah, that's it. And so I was like, hmm, instead of waiting another like five years to start making YouTube videos again and like documenting our life, I'm just going to start today because that's what I'm doing and I told myself I'd do it this week. So here we are. So here we are. Should I go close up blind? Maybe, maybe I will. That's good. Ever since I met Sophia and she's started showing me her YouTube videos. Part of me has always been like, Sophia, you should do this. And she never wanted to. But it's funny watching those videos and realizing how similar she still is. <laughs> that is true. Because I married the same person in those 14 year old Sophia videos. Like she's the exact same. So I'm excited knows. to see where this goes. I feel like when I um, look back at those YouTube videos when I was like 13 or 14, I just remember like, genuinely not caring what people thought about me like I, I can't remember thinking like oh I wonder what people will think when I post this video I just I don't I just remember posting it me like this is really fun and I really enjoy this and I'm just gonna keep doing it type of thing and you know when you just start getting to that age where like you know those sorts do creep in and you're like oh what does someone think of me or what do they think of me or what will that person think of me I feel like everyone gets to that stage and that's when I like slowly stopped and also just because life got busier but I've been thinking a lot about my mindset as <laughs> that young and it's kind of sad how we lose that. So this is also me trying to like, yeah, just do things because I enjoy them. Just got to live your best life, you know? That's what 2022 is about, I've decided. Exactly right. But yeah, Izzy's going to join me in a lot of these videos and um, hopefully we'll make lots more. What I'm thinking is, and you tell me what you guys want, if anyone's even going to comment. <laughs> But what I'm thinking is... Nice comments only. <laughs> no haters. No, no haters. What I'm thinking is maybe like one talking type video a week and then one more vlog video a week. I'll try and make them pretty. Like, let's put those video skills to use. I did get a film <laughs> major. <as> well. <laughs> Hopefully you guys keep watching. <laughs> Anything that you want to say? 
I'm excited to be a part of this. I'm sorry I'm so awkward. Hopefully, no, as, he's not. He's very good. As we watch these videos, I'll open up. But yeah, clearly my first time doing this kind of stuff. So you didn't do this when he was 13. He was too busy milking cows when he was that. <laughs> I was too busy being outside. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.